when you are faced with a claim that is a total loss to property, you will most likely want to complete the total loss valuation form and Xactimate. If you are not familiar with how to do a total loss valuation, see our expert tip called Using the Valuation Tool to Estimate a Total Loss. A total loss valuation is a quick and easy way to scope a complete loss of property without having to list each individual line item, as entering line items for a total property loss can be very time consuming. The main drawback to a total loss valuation is not having the line items list to use in rebuilding the property. The solution to that is to create an estimate from the valuation. I'm gonna show you how that's done. If the property you are scoping is not a total loss, you might want to use the traditional method of entering individual line items using the estimate items selection in Xactimate. Follow these steps if you decide that a total loss valuation is the best choice for the property you are scoping. In Xactimate, open a project that has been previously saved as a valuation. To create an estimate from that valuation, simply save the valuation as an estimate by selecting Valuation, then select Save As and choose the Estimate radio button. Give the estimate a name and select OK. The project is saved as an estimate. Now that you've saved the valuation as an estimate, you can view and edit the estimate line items. To do that, navigate back to Xactimate's My Project window and open the estimate from your list of projects. Once the project is open, you can select Estimate Items and open the grouping folders to view all the individual line items included in the estimate category. For example, if you wanted to see all the items included in the rough framing category, simply click on the rough framing category folder, a list of all the framing materials opens. Saving your total loss valuation as an estimate is a quick and easy way to view all the materials needed to rebuild a total loss structure from the ground up.